Begin scanning the shoulder by finding the bicipital groove and look for the oval biceps tendon within the groove. Once this landmark is found, move the probe laterally and superiorly to find the supraspinatus tendon in transverse. Then turn the probe 90 degrees and scan the tendon in a longitudinal view. Look to see if the fibres are intact and uniform to suggest a normal tendon. If fibres are more hypoechoic and the tendon is thicker, it is showing signs of tendinosis. If there are clefts of fluid seen or areas of tendon thinning, then the tendon is likely to be torn. Assess the subacromial subdeltoid bursa for thickness. If less than one millimeter, it's likely to be normal. But if greater than one millimeter, suspect bursitis. Next, assess the supraspinatus tendon and bursa during shoulder abduction. If there is dragging or buckling of the bursa, then the bursa is becoming impinged. Ask the patient as to whether this brings on the pain they normally experience. Now assess the degree of activation of upper trapezius during abduction. Overactivity may be associated with scapular dyskinesis and may be contributing to the patient's impingement. With postural re-education, normal upper trapezius activation is achieved. Also, assess the activity of the lower trapezius during abduction. If underactive, lower traps may need to be facilitated during the retraining process. Again, with correct scapular positioning, better activation can be achieved. The level of serratus anterior muscle activity can also be assessed during functional movements. Again, if underactive, this is associated with scapular winging. Improved activation should then be targeted with the rehabilitation program. After biofeedback, reassess the rotator cuff bursa complex during abduction to see if muscle activation retraining has reduced the degree of impingement and pain. Also, you can tape the shoulder to facilitate correct activational patterns and reassess if bursa and or tendon is still impinging with functional activities. If you would like to learn more about rehabilitative ultrasound imaging and how it can benefit your patients, then visit our website on www.soundphysio.com.au.